Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to add a button to our um, basic application here and um, in Android and we're going to, uh, along the way, look at view groups a little bit. So um, one thing I'm going to fix here is if you hover over this warning by the side of this edit text that we added in the last tutorial you see it says it's complaining that it doesn't specify an input type or a hint and I'm just going to fix that by typing hint autocomplete and um, I'm just going to say here um, enter um, some text or enter your text here and this hint is just the, um, the sort of greyed out text that appears um, kind of in the control when the user hasn't entered anything just to prompt them to enter some text there. Now I'm going to change this relative layout to a linear layout and this um, this relative layout is a view group and if you go to um, if you go to Google and you search for Android view group here we go and um, so this there's a there's a view group class that's the base um, class of a bunch of other view groups and here you can see the direct the, the various subclasses direct and indirect and in particular um, we're interested in some of these and in this tutorial we're going to use this linear layout view group and linear layout just lets you lay out your views your buttons and things um, either all horizontally or all vertically and if you scroll down here you can see the XML attributes that you can use, here we go, within it. And um, the only one that we need to bother about is we need to tell it that we want to, I want to lay out uh, my button um, down here. So I want my views to be laid out vertically. I want my edit text view up here and my button view here. So um, we need to set the um, orientation which I believe is in here somewhere or um, maybe I'm looking at the wrong thing actually yeah this is these are just values for the gravity actually um, these are all attributes that we can use and um, here's the Android orientation and we're going to set that to vertical so I'm going to go back to Eclipse and here we need to add in um, orientation use the autocomplete again Oh yeah, first I've got to change it to linear layout. So let's change this to linear layout. I'll type lin capital L and autocomplete and I'll change this closing tag as well. And in here I'll change, I'll add the orientation attribute and I'll set that, I'll just use the control space autocomplete again to get um, to set this to vertical here. And um, now that I've done that, I can add in the button. So I'll just type a angle bracket here and select button there and autocomplete. And um, for the button, I'll add some text for the button to display on it. And I'll type the text save like this. And I'll tell, I'll say that I want the, I'll set the width and height for the button. So I'll set layout um, width and I'm going to set that to match parent. So I'm just using the control space autocomplete as we saw in the last tutorial to complete these things after I've typed a few characters. And let's set the um, layout height and I'm going to set that to wrap content. Uh, and wrap content will just make this as high as it needs to be to display this text, this save text here and let's just do control shift f to format that a bit and that's okay for the moment for my button and uh, the challenge that I've, I've kind of faced now is I want to say to this linear layout can you put in the button and then make the edit text take up all the rest of the available space vertically and to do that um, the wall of buttons already okay in terms of width and height and I need to alter the edit text attributes a bit. Now the height I'm actually going to set to um, 
note. So I'm going to type note and control space and go to note DP. And that's note device independent pixels. And so this isn't the actual height that it's going to be. What this is, is a dummy placeholder um, so that it, it can, um, for, for the sake of efficiency basically, because I'm going to specify the real way to calculate the height. Now I'm going to say um, layout uh, weight and I'm going to set this to 1. Now layout weight is something that you use within a linear layout and um, uh, it doesn't it doesn't have to be horizontal weight or vertical weight because linear layouts are only vertical or horizontal so and um, this knows that I'm talking about vertical weight here but what the weight is is it specifies how much proportionally of the space your widget should take up so if you have one widget with weight 10 and another widget with weight um, 30 then what then the first one's going to take up a quarter of the space and the second one three quarters so they're just, just proportional values, the absolute values don't matter. And what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm not giving button a weight. And by giving edit text a weight, it will mean that it will just take up all the available space left over after the button has taken up all the space that it needs. And I'm setting this layout height to 0dp because if I set that to something like match parent or wrap content, then it would uh, mean that um, Android would have to do an extra calculation um, unnecessarily so it would kind of calculate this height um, but it's really this that's going to set the height so I'm setting this to 0 dp um, just as a kind of dummy placeholder variable just to kind of say look don't actually do anything for the height just look at the weight and figure out the height from that um, so I, I think that's okay and let's try running that I'll click run and by the way I appreciate that this is going to look like a load of um, you know it's going to seem a bit incomprehensible if this is the first time you've seen it but what I'd say is um, you get used to working with these values very quickly and as you go through the, this series of tutorials you'll uh, really start to become familiar with these different layout attributes and um, the things you can do it just seems like really perplexing at first now let's take a look at the emulator because um, it says that it's um, it's been successful installing it and it started the intent and here we go so now we've got a edit text button uh, an edit an edit text view with a button view and it's a bit ugly but you can style these things and we'll get into that a bit later on now in the next tutorial we're going to look at how you do stuff, how you make stuff happen when this button is clicked. So um, join me again then and you can find more information um, about the Kava Programming Android course on www.kavaprogramming.com slash android and until next time, happy coding.